Hello, today I'm going to introduce you to the all new CraftBot 3 nozzle and hot end configuration. I'll talk to you a little bit about the benefits of this new setup and then show you how to install it into your own CraftBot 3 printer. The first difference that you'll notice with the new nozzle setup is that it's much longer than the previous version. This ensures that the filament heats evenly as it passes through the nozzle. The second difference is that there's a new and improved heat break, which ensures that even at the highest temperatures, the filament won't back up into the nozzle and cause clogs. And lastly, you'll notice we've also introduced a new cover, which ensures that the heat block remains at constant temperature, even when your fans are turning on and turning off. The heat break has also been made longer and thinner in order to make sure that filament doesn't back up and clog your machine. The new nozzle on the CraftBot 3 is much longer in order to ensure more efficient heating of the filament as it passes through the nozzle. Because the new nozzle is longer than the old version, it won't work in the old heat block. You'll want to upgrade your heat block in order to use the new nozzle. Even with all of the new improvements that we've added to the new CraftBot 3 hot end, it's still compatible with your old motors, so you'll be able to swap it in very easily. Now, let me show you how you install your new hot end. The first thing that we'll always do is turn off the machine and unplug it for safety. All right, now we're gonna start by removing the fan cover so that we can actually get to the hot end. There's four screws, two on each side. Once those are removed, we will very gently pull the fan cover off forward so that we don't bend any of the electronics inside. Now that we've removed the fan cover, we're going to remove the center screw, which holds the hot end into place. Now we can create a little bit of distance for ourselves in order to be able to very carefully remove the two cables connected to the hot end. Now let me show you how to remove the heat sink and disassemble the hot end. First, we're gonna start by removing the two screws that hold the heat sink in place. Once those have been loosened, you'll be able to slide the hot end out from underneath. Now we'll set the heat sink aside. And looking at the actual hot end, the first thing we're going to do is grab the two wrenches that were provided to you with your printer. And we're gonna loosen until you feel them come apart. And now it doesn't matter which order you unscrew them in, but both the heat break and the nozzle can now be removed from the heat block. So if you're installing a new nozzle head or even a bigger nozzle head, then you can take one of the nozzles out of the kit that you received with your printer and just screw it right in. Now you're gonna to wanna to find the bottom of your heat block, which is the one with the hole in the side. We'll screw in our nozzle. Next, we'll screw on our heat break and use the two wrenches provided in order to make sure that those are nice and tight. We're ready to install the heat sink. As you slide it in, make sure to line up the edge of your heat sink with the edge of the heat break. And while looking at it from the front, you want the screws to be on the left-hand side. Once we've got those things lined up, then we're just going to tighten the screws down. and we're ready to install it in the machine. First, we're going to reconnect to the cables that we disconnected originally. Line up the heat sink hole, and put your screw back in. Now that that's nice and tight, we'll add the fan cover back on. You want to be careful to make sure to keep the pins aligned and simply screw your four screws back into place. And we're done. Now that we've installed the new hot end, we're ready to start Z calibration. First thing we'll do is we'll plug the machine back in, turn it back on. 
Thank you for taking your time and listening to me talk about the new benefits of the CraftBot 3 nozzle, hot end, and heat break.